Sanchez and Rand. Looking left hook. Right, he's doing the leading. Right hand by Zona Nelson. That right hand looks dangerous, Larry. Right. Especially right hand again by right Nelson. He's been getting that right hand across real good. And he's been taking the play away from Sanchez. Good for the counter because what more you wait to get here. No, left hook by Nelson. Nelson is a pretty good fighter. We have never seen him as we said. But he's a pretty good fighter. He landed a good right hand with O. Sanchez. And he took it right for that, Larry. He took it and came right back off of the yeah. left of his arm. Right hand by Sanchez. That landed right on the chin. Five seconds left in the round. Sanchez got two good right hands after. He must have been a seven. What a good right hand. He caught Sanchez up against the ropes. Yeah, and he's yeah. taking the right hand again of Sanchez. He... Sanchez stunned with that right hand. Good body parts you got to hit Sanchez with. Doing everything. He's still the fight. Ready to punch it. It's going to be very interesting to see how this fight goes. Right, he plus Sanchez again with a good left hook. Yes, he hurting Sanchez. Sanchez is still calm and confident. He's fighting like a champion, but he's going wrong by standing in there taking punches. And close, you should always move your hands. punches a little bit to catch his win. But you cannot stop with a fighter like Sanchez. Fine boxer. Well done. Now he's in trouble. He's going to be in trouble. A left side of the And as soon as else he's in trouble. Nothing will try to fight out of this. He's hurt, but he's going to try to fight out of this. So went down from that and here's the one he went down with it wasn't all that big as the first one but it was big enough to do it
Sanchez all over Sanchez in the corner. He's going there with that left hand. He's trying his Larry Holmes set. He's saying to himself, this guy would have been out of here a long time ago. He's still in here. There it is. He almost went down from it. Sanchez sticking that jab in there real good. He hit him with three good jabs in the right hand. Now he's starting to tee off. He must have told Sanchez he got to go ahead and take this guy out. Get his tire now. Oh, come on again. That's the end of the round. This, this round here, I don't know if it's going This is it for him. I feel that Jay Chess is ahead on the school card, and he's going to go for good, which he's going. I'm sure that this kid has captured the hearts of all the boxing fans in New York who are seeing him for the first time. Put him on the right hand, and almost put him down. Another right hand. This kid just refuses to get down. His legs are perfectly down. He is very, very tired. Two minutes and ten seconds left in the round. Long way to go. As he said earlier. And he got his mouth broken, so you know it's possible that he can have a jaw broken. That's right. He's hurt again, but it's still fighting. and trying to fight back, trying to keep from going down. We got here with Fleury. This bout at one minute and 49 seconds of the 15th round and a winner by TKO and still the World Boxing Council featherweight champion, Salvador Sanchez. Sanchez defends his title successfully against one of the gamest fighters I have ever seen, Larry, one of the gamest I've ever seen, and I'm sure one of the gamest that Salvador Sanchez has ever fought.